Hi right, guys, in this video we are going to end the year with a fish room tour. I'm just doing my water changes as you can see, water's coming out of this tank. So I'm going to get my water changes done, get all the tanks looking nice for Christmas and I'm going to show you what's in the tanks and I'm also going to tell you what my plans for next year within fish keeping and YouTube are going to be like. So let's go and check the whole of the fish room out. All right, so the first thing to show you is the new tank. So the new tank here, it was only built a week ago. So I'm gonna leave it until another week before I fill it. I'm gonna let the silicone go off. It is a four by two by two tank and I'm still not fully sure what I'm gonna put in there yet. And then obviously in this gap here, ignore the crap that's there. I'm gonna put a two by two by two. Check out way out, check, check out the big fish lad cup. <laughs> Someone bought me that as a present a while back. Got me coffee in there. So yeah, I'm gonna put a two by two fish tank there and that'll be the next thing that I do. So, before we actually go into depth on the other tanks, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things. So, now my sponge has dropped in there, look. Just cleaning the tanks all. So I'm just, I'm just doing me, me water change, but I wanted to show you this. Update on the eater, doing brilliant. Minus nine the last few days in the UK, doing its job, no eaters in the tank. Part of what I'm gonna do next year, so the reason I'm showing you this tank is because part of me next year, I am gonna start looking at, so coming away from the dopamine it, so impulse buying fish and buying fish that I don't really want, and that's gonna be what I'm gonna be concentrating now in this fish room on. So there is gonna be some fish that I am gonna move out, some of those fish are these albino platinum pearl scale angel fish. I am going to get rid of these because I want to keep the Rio Nanny and I want to give this tank to the Rio Nanny angel fish. And as we go through the video, I will explain a little bit more in depth of why I'm making decisions like getting rid of them. So water changes, going to get them done and then we'll get into this fish room tour proper and we'll have a good update on to where we are and where we're going okay so i just thought do you know what let's do the fish room tour while we're doing the water changes so the water's emptying in that tank so i'll tell you what we'll start with this tank this tank is my tank full of fish basically i'm not calling it the VA tank anymore because it's only got one VA in there i think but obviously now i've got that new four by four by foot that new four by two I can take a lot of the fish out of here. Obviously now the Severum's in here as well because it just wasn't getting on with the small Oscar. But going back to what I was saying before, I'm gonna bring you up to the Jags while we talk to this, this bit. What I meant by dopamine and stuff like that is, I'm the kind of fish keeper who loves the chase, loves the instant gratification, loves seeing a fish, loves buying it. I am that kind of fish keeper and it's just not good. I don't want to be that kind of fish keeper. So moving into the new year, I'm going to start setting my fish tanks up and my fish room up around fish that I actually want to keep. So not going to auctions and, and just bidding on everything. And, and you know what? It does coincide also with having a YouTube channel. I'll be honest with you. I think sometimes my YouTube channel does dictate what I might do. So I need to strip it back to basics. And I want to basically do what I did in the first place with YouTube and that was just showcase the fish that I have and the fish that I like and the fish that I want. So yeah, that's what next year is going to be like. So I've not decided what I'm moving on besides the angels. Let me just show you this. So this here is the green terror tank and those altifrons, which I've not really done an update on, are in here. And they're in here because there's nowhere else to put them. So I bought these off Bill, and it was one of those occasions where I said, oh, I'll have them, I'll buy them off you. And I did, and now they're doing this, this tank with the Green Terriers, I don't really want them in there, so that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, buying on impulse. Again, the Santa Perca in there. Two of them bought on impulse. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a look at my tank, so I'm gonna walk, I'm just spinning you around the fish room as we speak, and 
these are my tanks in my fish room so i will eventually get into summer next year i will have another stand there double stand with two i think i can get six foot by 20 inches i'm not sure but around six foot two six foot tanks there which will put me with obviously tanks on here and then these little gaps here to about 10 tanks oh by the way that there a nicaraguan cichlid so the ones that i put my old pair that i put in the actual tank on their own which is not there anymore because it doesn't fit they spawn so i'm growing some of their young on so fish room's an absolute shit tip at the moment guys but again you know it's end of year i'm getting it already i'm tidying up and i just thought i'd take you with it do something a little bit different with the fish room tour and actually taught you through what i'm on about in that tank there are the briodori the bottom one and i've put the other pair of nicaraguans bag in there so these are my plans this is what i'm thinking out loud now i think i'm going to put the green terrace in the four by two with maybe put some disturbed by cory doris in there maybe i think i'm going to put the lion side in there for now put the multi asiatus back in there the briodora in there or the Leon, Leon side in there and the Briadore up there. Jag stay there. Move the Rio Nanny Angels to there. And then have the Etra Spear, the Bifasiatis, the Severum in there. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Knowing me, it'll be nothing like that when it gets round to it. And obviously out here, we've got the Oscar tank, which will just have the Oscars in. So yeah that's my plans that's what i'm thinking but it's more important the important part of this video is the bit in fact let's have a look at trigger that thing's still in his tank where is he there he is he's behind there the important thing about this video is me talking about the fact that i need to change now i do need to change because it's not i'm not enjoying it you know the, the, the dopamine it that I keep talking about is great when it comes to, you know, the instant gratification. I'm just going to sit down on the chair, so we'll jump down to the tank that's empty now. Looks absolutely packed now that water's low, doesn't it? The, the instant gratification around that buzz, and also the video on YouTube, the new fish video, all those stuff, is not really interesting me anymore now i've got the fish room and it's set up i want to be in more of a position where i am enjoying this fish room so back to basics back to the bit that i talked about before around building my youtube channel and my around my fish keeping instead of the other way about and looking in each tank so here's a question i want to ask you guys a question right the question is this when you go around your tanks and you ask yourself this question how many fish in your tanks are fish that you wanted so basically a fish that you've seeked out a fish that you've wanted for ages and how many of your fish on impulse you bought on impulse if that makes sense now i reckon if i go around my tanks i'm not showing you that one down there because they're all hiding if i go around my tanks right now i reckon i'm about 50 percent if i'm honest and i'm sorry to to keep spinning you around it's just i just wanted to do something a little bit different while i had this chat with you it's about 50 percent, maybe a little bit more fish that i wanted to keep so you know what jags i love the jags i started my channel with the jags first few videos were on my pair of jags i lost my jag my male jag i've got another pair of jags and i'm so happy to have him green terrors in that tank love the green terrors i've gone on about them for ages so i've got them trigger the fish that i wanted forever got him these are fish that i'm talking about you know so the biffer there the biffer is something that i've always wanted but i kind of like feel like i've missed out on not being able to grow my own pair out or growing them out if that makes sense um and the lion size is something i've always wanted so that's how this fish room is going to go in the new year looking more like this obviously if i can get it to a place where i've got the oscars in a tank the jags in a tank the green terrors in a tank the briodora in a tank 
the Lion Sire in a tank, the Nicaraguans in a tank, that kind of thing. That's my aim going forward. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, instead of thinking about new fish that I want, I'm going to be looking at the fish I've got and prioritising them. So I will move some stuff on. You know, first and foremost, I said I'm going to move these on, these angels, just because I need to free this tank up. And I needed to make a choice between the Rio Nanny or the Platinum one, the Albino ones. And I love them both, but I think I really want... The Rio Nanny was on my wanted list. These wasn't necessarily on my wanted list. And I only bought these because I couldn't get hold of some uh, Bulgarian seal points. And that, so again, impulse. But yeah, I'm keeping, this, I'm keeping these sword tails. I love them. So yeah, that's where I'm at in the fish room. Obviously you can see the Oscar tank out there. We're not gonna go out there because there's something, there's some work being done in that room. But new tanks here, it gives me another option. I will get a two foot by two foot cube very soon. And yeah, hope it made sense because it was a little bit different. I was swinging you around everywhere, but I just wanted to sort of like tell you what my plans were, where I'm at, and show you pretty much the fish room when it's at its worst. It's absolutely, oh man, it's a mess at the moment, but I'm working on it. I mean, look at all the airline there. We're sorting it out, we're sorting it out. So yeah, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this video up now and I'll see you in a moment. That was the last fish room tour of the year and I wanted to do it that way and talk about what I talked about just so it sets me up nicely for the new year I'm going to get my shit sorted out of the, the type of fish keeper I am and I want to shout out to anybody out there that's watching this because I know I speak to a lot of people who impulse buy and a lot of people who chop and change their fish there's nothing wrong with it there's no rules in fish keeping the only expectation is that you look after the fish. So if you buy a fish and you move it on, you make sure it goes to the right person, the right environment. If you want to buy a fish every month and swap it, that's your choice. But like I said, from me as a person, I'm seeing that as a bad thing for me. Me and my head and me and my time and me and my money, costing me a lot of money doing this and I'm just giving the fish, I'm just gonna give the fish away. So it's not doing anything for me. I've got this vision now in this fish room, which has been building up since the summer. And that's where I'm going. So I'm going to shut up because I've been going on with myself. I want to wish you a happy Christmas and a great new year. And I will see you in 2023.